Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming. Please, oh, yes, please be seated. Yes, good afternoon. You know, um, I think I speak for everyone in the room when I say that when Senator Elizabeth Dole calls, you pick up, you answer. Her, um, her invitation to come listen to her uh, speak one day at a hotel in, out in Santa Monica had me uh, sitting and, uh, and listening to her first-hand accounts of the quite tremendous and the ever-constant challenges that are facing military caregivers. And by military caregivers, we're not talking about healthcare professionals. We're not talking about educated experts. We're talking about wives and family members and girlfriends and kids and parents. Those are the military caregivers. People are giving care to the merit military loved ones. We're talking about them and the lack of resources that are available to them. And what the senator said to me would inspire anyone to have joined her cause. She is, in two words, pretty convincing. <laughs> and it is hard to say anything to her other than, Senator, what do you need from me? So, Senator, it is a great honor to be a chair of the Hidden Heroes campaign, and I always speak for everyone here in the room and beyond when I say that your, your tireless work and the heavy lifting you have done and your heads up in commanding leadership on behalf of those military caregivers is an inspiration to us all. Bringing our country's hidden heroes, and that's what they are, heroes that are hidden out of sight, Bringing them out of the shadows and to honor their service is a companion piece, I think, to welcoming home those who have served. And we thank you, Senator Dole. Simple as that. Ladies and gentlemen, today we mark the milestone in our collective efforts that have been head headed by the great senator. We are launching Hidden Heroes, the movement meant to inspire Americans every corner of the country and to do our part to support military caregivers. I'm going to start and end with the same simple question to each of you and to all of those who are watching at home and around the world on our live stream. What part are you going to play in this movement? I trust the stories of honor and sacrifice we will now share and those you will learn about in the weeks and months ahead will bring you to your answer. There are five and a half million military caregivers in the United States. Their voices are different, but they share a similar story of struggle and resilience. I just remember the voice on the other side of the line saying, you know, uh, your son was injured. And my question to him was, is he alive? And so he said, yes. And he said, uh, but we don't know for how long. And I said, well, I'm on my way. People from the very get-go could see that he was different coming back from Afghanistan. One of his very good friends died in Afghanistan that day, and so he was a little bit depressed, and so people just kind of chalked it up to that. And then come to find out after the seizure started that he actually had a small bleed in his brain. He had had significant brain damage done, and basically one side of his brain is just not functioning anymore. I met Miss Kim after she was discharged about three years. Miss Kim suffers from service-connected post-traumatic stress, major anxiety, and major depression. Agent Orange has certain presumptive conditions, and diabetes is among those which Chuck has, and as a result of the diabetes, Chuck had a stroke. Uh, the day that we brought Lois home was an amazing day, and we were so grateful to God that finally our son was where he belonged which was home. As soon as I realized that he had a chance, I knew that I was going to get him whatever services that he needed to get better. Caregiving is not like a Monday through Friday, eight to five kind of deal. It's two in the morning, three in the morning, two in the afternoon. It's whenever he needs me. You know, we are the doctor, we are the nurse, we are the housekeeping. Before I got involved with the Elizabeth Dole Foundation, I felt like my life was over there's a silent screaming epidemic. The people don't hear the desperation that caregivers are facing. And military caregivers are taking care of those people who have served this country. And it's important to give them the recognition 
and the support they need so they can take care of America's priceless assets. What I would like to tell to a new caregiver, in the midst of the helplessness and the pain, there is help out there. As an EDF fellow, I kind of see it as my job just to get out there and explain to others that they are military caregivers. And here's a wonderful website and resource page for them so that they do not feel alone. I am a military caregiver. I am a military caregiver. I am a military caregiver. I am a hidden hero. Hidden Heroes is a groundbreaking initiative to bring vital attention to the untold stories of our nation's military caregivers. Learn how you can help military caregivers like Helen, Sonia, Julio, Don, and Jenny at hiddenheroes.org.